was pop and back with more draft league content so last week we finally won a game after a while and i don't want to say we have 100 percent secured playoffs because if we completely mess up this game it could be another story but we're pretty darn close and this is the final week before playoffs so let's just see what happens and hopefully we can win taking on my boy six with hacks leo and his team is pretty strong with threats like great tusk iron bundle ogre pond hearth flame zapdos manaphy and more we've got our work cut out for us and two terror captains in Jinchino and appleton so Definitely gotta watch out for those as well, and yeah, there's just a bunch of annoying Pokemon on his team. Like, everything on his team has great value, so have to carefully consider all of them that he might bring. And so I decided to, on my team to start off with Farigaraph. I think Farigaraph is a great Pokemon for this matchup, especially a Trick Room variant with Citrus Berry Kudchu. After Trick Room, we outrun most of his team, and Terra Normal Hyper Voice hits his team for a lot of damage. Psychic Noise is great for preventing recovery from Pokemon like, for instance, the Zapdos or the Appleton, etc., and... Earthquake, even though we're fully invested in Special Attack, I do like the Earthquake coverage for the Tinkaton because it actually can 2 KO it potentially, depending on the investment. And even though we're not invested in attack, we still have a pretty nice attack stat to use Earthquake versus Tinkaton, so I like that. And having Citrus Berry Kachu is really cool just because you get 50% of your HP back in the span of two turns when you're, when you're in that uh, range, of course, for Citrus Berry to activate, so it's really fun to use. Now... Started off with, yeah, the Frigograph with Trick Room. Then I added a Raging Bolt with Choice Scarf. Now, what I noticed is that its speed, being 273, is convenient enough such that with max speed Choice Scarf, we outrun Iron Bundle by one point. And that could really, you know, change up the mind games and catch him off guard because if he brings Iron Bundle versus me, my Choice Scarf Raging Bolt can outrun it. If he tries to think that I'm going to Thunderclap and goes for, like, Sub or something like that with Encore or whatever, I can actually outplay it by... Volt switching and knocking it out completely from its uh, full health or whatever, and, and it's really great for um, that Pokemon. Not only just that, but also being faster than Chinchino and Ogre Pond and stuff like that, just dropping Dracos here and there, or spamming Thunderbolts on things. It's, it's really useful to outrun things on his team, and yeah, its speed is actually something that I haven't really tapped into as much this season. I've been using, I've been really enjoying using you know, those Chinese AV sets and stuff like that, just focusing on the bulk, but now we're focusing on the speed and the offense on this Pokemon. Showing it off for the last week, hopefully. And um, yeah, then we have Empoleon, which I think is extremely essential for this team because of the fact that it is the best counter to um, Iron Bundle and Manaphy. Of course, having Haze so that we can get rid of those Tail Glows or Calm Minds and stuff like that. And also it's just really great versus Yuxi as well. Yuxi can you know be a Calm Minder. It can be pretty annoying. So we have Knock Off to get rid of items. Surf is just a good move overall and Haze to remove boosts. Now I'm running Covert Cloak on this Pokemon because I don't want to get frozen. And I don't want my Pokemon that is a guaranteed switch into Iron Bundle to get frozen. So we don't want that. Uh, next is Annihilate. We have Stealth Rocks, Rocky Helmet, a full Fizz Def. So of course we get the Spidef Wall to get the Fizz Def Wall. This Pokemon is great because it can check a lot of the physical attackers and Encore Lock Pokemon so they can't set up, especially that Tidy Up Chinchino, super useful, or any Pokemon that's slower that, you know, tries to recover, like Appleton can get locked in and can't do as much um, when, you know, it has to kind of be on its toes all the time, so it's nice that we get the Drain Punch Rage Fist, the classic, you know, classic. Uh, we got Toad School for Rapid Spin, and I threw on Spikes as well, which I think are pretty cool as uh, a way to kind of hazard stack versus him because we do have a nice spin blocker on his team and I don't know if he... Well, he has tidy up, which, you know, is fine, but I don't think he has... I, I don't know if he has defog. I don't think he has defog. Rapid spin, we can block that. Tidy up, if he does that, then, you know, we can probably go for an attack. I don't think he can really tidy up versus a lot of our mons, maybe except for the toad scroll. Otherwise, it kind of just gets destroyed by my moves. So, yeah, I like uh, Toad Scroll a lot for the utility it provides. Double Rocky Helmet is always useful, and it's a nice way to check Pokemon like the Tinkaton, the uh, Overquill, and, and things like that because it's naturally faster. And finally, we have Mew. Now, Mew is kind of swapped out here and there for Weavile. I was trying out Weavile in this slot, and I was trying out Mew, and I was trying out a bunch of other stuff. But I think this Dragon Dance Mew set is really good. Uh, and, you know, with Dragon Dance Culverberry, we were able to potentially get multiple Dragon Dances, especially versus, like, Overquill or any kind of knockoff user, it's just good to give us that uh, that nice little buffer to knock off, which he has a uh, quite a few mons on his team or that have dark type attacks. And yeah, Psychic Fangs, Earthquake hits um, Tinkaton, Overquill, etc. This can break screens potentially. And Stone Edge is really cool because it hits Pokemon like Bundle super effectively, Zapdos super effectively, uh, Ogre Pond, Hearth Flame does a lot of damage. Potentially Okos after a spike or a rock. 
So I like that. And yeah, very bulky EV spread here. Nice Chinese EV spread with Dragon Dance to survive attacks and put in a lot of work. And that's going to be the team for this uh, for this game here. I definitely think that uh, it has a lot of potential for sure. I do think that Pokemon like the Raging Bolt, the Mew, and the Ferrograph will be putting in the most work as it has been while testing. And yeah, we have some pretty good support in Empoleon, Annihilate, and Toadscroll. Nice, well-balanced team. And yeah, when the game starts, we'll queue into it. So I'll see you all for the battle starting soon. It's the final week of Draft League before playoffs, and this game is important for us because if we win, or even if we lose marginally like 1-0, we should be guaranteed in for playoffs, but if we lose badly, then there's a chance we don't make playoffs. So the goal for this game is to knock out as many Pokemon as possible, or just win. And fun fact, Joey just went home earlier today. By today, I mean like a week into the past for y'all, and if y'all didn't know, he visited my house. We did Cooking with Envy, a stream on his channel, which was super fun. It was a great time. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it if you saw it, but for now, let's see what our opponent, Six Foot Hacks Leo, brings. I'm Curious to see what he's got, if he's got any heat or not, we'll find out. But yeah, let's get into it. Gotta win this game, and... Yeah, so he's got the Great Tusk, Chinchino, Tinkaton, Manaphy, Overquill, and Ogre Pond Hearthflame. So, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with my overall prep. I definitely practiced a lot versus these mods. I guess the thing I'm most surprised about is no Iron Bundle, but it kind of makes sense since I have Raging Bolt, Empoleon, and stuff like that. But Empoleon still has a lot of value just because... It can deal with the Manaphy pretty well, and Manaphy can be a very big threat. Now, his Terra Captain is going to be the Chinchino, and it could be Terra Normal, Ghost, or Ground. But it kind of looks like overall, maybe my best lead is going to be the Choice Scarf Raging Bolt. I've been leading with it versus my uh, practice games that I've had, and it's been pretty good. Ideally, he leads with something like. I don't know, maybe... Well, so he could lead with Ogre Pond, he could lead with Overquill, he could lead with Chinchino, if he's trying to get, like, a big hit off or a U-turn or something like that. Hopefully it's not a great Tusk lead, but we still have our options against that, too. And Leo's been doing pretty well this season. Compared to last season, I think he's doing a lot better. I think he's already made playoffs as well, so... Yeah, it's gonna be more challenging, I think, so we'll see what happens. And he challenges me. May or may not be his first mistake. Could be mine, we'll find out. Hopefully I can end the season with a positive record. So it's gonna be Chinchino as a lead. And this is fine. Because... I just wanna double check this is not Terra Fairy. <laughs> I feel like it is normal ground and ghost, which... Double checking now, it is. So I feel like my play here could be to... I could fire off a Draco Meteor. Which I think is the best play, just because if he doesn't expect me to be Choice Scarf, this thing is dead on the spot. According to the Calc, it does Oko. And I don't know if he'll hard switch into Tinkaton, so let's just... I think let's just click Draco Meteor and find out what happens. Ooh, U-turn that. So we now know that this Pokemon is in fact Choice Scarf. That's good information right off the bat to know that this Chinchino is a Choice Scarf Chinchino. Okay. So he will be faster than my Raging Bolt. What does he go into? It's going to be the Great Tusk. Cool. We get big damage off. Somewhat big damage off. This Pokemon is AV. Potentially Chinese AV. So yeah, it's going to be uh, a Mon that probably was designed to sponge Raging Bolts. Did a good, decent amount of damage though, so I'm gonna go into uh, Annihilate here, which I think is a good switch in right now. Since we are Fizz Def, and we know this thing is AV, so the only thing it can do is attack. Unless he doubles here, which I don't know if he'll do or not. But yeah, if he stays in, that means he's gonna attack and power up our Rage Fist, and if he somehow goes for a an attack that's like a contact move or something like that, then... He'll take Rocky Helmet Chip as well. Ice Spinner, nice. Doesn't do much. And he takes Chip. So now he's in below 50% H uh, percent HP range, which is nice. Good opportunity to uh, get my Stealth Rocks up now as he switches out here. What does he go into? He goes into the Overquill. 
So him going over Quill probably means that this thing is support and has spikes, potential T spikes as well. So I do think my best switch in here is probably going to be my... I want to say Toad Scroll is the switch in here, but... Yeah, I don't think the way he brought it in, I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to do anything terrible on this turn if I go hard Toad Scroll, but let me just run a calc real quick just to make sure I don't die to anything in one hit, and... Yeah, I don't think I do. Like Gunk Shot or... Bar barrage or anything like that. So, and, I'm, and I'm naturally faster, so I can always go into this Mon. If he sets up hazards, I can spin. If he goes for an attack, I can just Earth Power. Should be pretty fine. T-Spikes. Ah, okay. Well, these need to get off my side. <laughs> these are not supposed to be here. So let's go for the Rapid Spin, I think is the play. We get a Speed Boost, and you know, if he tries to go for an attack, I think... We should survive any attack. Let's see what he does, though. He doesn't have a spin blocker on his team, so that's great. If his Shinchino is Terra Ghost, he didn't Terra with it, so... We always remove them right now. And he goes Tinkerton. Oh. Okay. This is a Mon I definitely want to weaken as much as possible, so... I think probably I'll just stay in with this Mon. Okay, it's Rocky Helmet, so maybe a more support set, Fizz Def, perhaps. Let's just Earth Power here. Get some good damage on this Mon. Pretty nice. Puts it in range of a bunch of stuff. Goes for Ice Hammer. Ah, okay. Interesting. So we got the Speed Drop as well. So it's an Ice Hammer set. Ice Hammer, maybe Gigaton Hammer, Player Off, and Swords Dance, I guess, is what he might have. If it's Ice Hammer, he definitely has, uh, well, it's Rocky Helmet as well, though, so I don't know if it's Swords Dance or... It could also be, like, an Encore set, three attacks Encore, or something along those lines. Maybe Stealth Rocks on it, since Great Tusk is, uh, AV. Let's Dragon is up. He stays in, so maybe he fires off a uh, Gigaton or something. Or a player off, or a knockoff. T Wave! Oh! Nice! <laughs> nice little dodge right there. Not bad. Finally, a little fortune. I think it's the first time I got a little fortune in a minute. Especially when you're trying to get the T Wave off, you get hacks right back. It's crazy. We knock out Tinkaton. Good thing I didn't really have to think a ton. <laughs> uh, okay. So cool. Now we're plus one. Knocked out the Tinkaton. Forced to go into the Choice Scarf Mon here in Chinchino. And so I want to double check a few things here. First of all, so I'm thinking about Dragon Dancing again, which I think is the play. Because then I'll be faster than this guaranteed, if in case the user runs out. But if he decides to like tear a normal Tail Slap, let me see if I survive. I should survive. Yes, I think I do. And then let's see if he Terra Ghosts, Terra Blasts. He does some damage, but not a lot. I have a lot of bulk in investment. So... I'll take that hit, and then my speed is set to this, and if he's max speed, times 1.5 divided by 2, yeah, I'm faster, so this is pretty good. U turns out, cool. We eat that up pretty well. And so another Dragon Dance here is looking nice. See what he goes into now. Is this the uh, Great Tusk? It is. Cool. So Mew is going to get a knockout here, which is wonderful. Dragon Dance Mew is putting in some work. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this Pokemon. Nice, nice. Very nice.
Excellent. So now the question is, who can he even go into now at this point? Ogre Pond dies to a Stone Edge. Chinchino dies, easily. Overquill probably gets destroyed by Earthquake. It's gonna be Manaphy, okay. So I know Manaphy will definitely take one. So the only way he can stop this thing is by Scald Burning, I guess? Oh, Berry. Okay. Citrus Berry. Haze. Ah, okay. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Not sure why I didn't do that earlier instead of sacking Tusk and... But yeah, I can see, you know, it's a dangerous mon. Pretty dangerous mon. I'll just try to Dragon Dance up again. Because if I don't get burnt, then I'll be able to uh, get some good damage off, outpace certain things. Goes for Scald. And gets the immediate burn. Well, that's fine. That's alright. We get a Synchronize off too, which is cool. And I can Dragon Dance up. So Manaphy is also on a timer as well, just like me. Fun fact about Manaphy, it's often known as the Prince of the Sea, and you might be wondering who the Princess of the Sea is. That's actually Wu Manaphy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you like that one though? That was a pretty good one. <laughs> Little Psychic Fangs for some chip. Not bad, not bad. I could probably just... See, maybe I... maybe I Do I Dragon Dance again and just let this thing go down so I can get a free Trick Room off? Or... Do I just attack here? Honestly, I could still get a free Trick Room off versus... Overquill... I could literally get a free Trick Room off versus anything. I'll just Earthquake here, just in case he goes like Overquill to try to pivot out. Just in case I want to get some damage here. I should die on this next turn, right? Tail Glow. Okay. So it's Scald, Haze, Tail Glow, and something else. Maybe Coverage. Ooh, I lived. Never mind. And he got knocked out. Okay, cool. I don't think he gets a free setup with Ogre Pond, because if, even if I get a little bit of damage, I can revenge with Raging Bolts. So not the worst thing in the world. It's gonna be Chinchino, so he'll probably just knock me out here. He can't tidy up or anything like that because we know he's Choice Scarf, so it's fine. He goes for U-turn, cool. And so knocks out Mew. So now it's gonna be... An interesting endgame. I think Farigaraf is going to be putting in a lot of work. Because... His remaining mons are fast. Like Overquill, Chinchino, and Ogre Pond are all going to be faster than Farigaraf. Probably not really that bulky. And so this is a probably a great opportunity for Farigaraf to come in after. He goes into Overquill. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I think... Yeah, there's two options, right? I go Raging Bolt, I Draco Meteor. But then that might allow Ogre Pond to set up, which we don't want. Or I go Farigaraf, Terra Normal, and Trick Room, right? We Terra Normal because we want to remove the weakness to Dark type attacks. And so I'm kind of leaning more towards Farigaraf here, just to see, I guess, Terra Normal, Hyper Voice. If it's like max HP max attack or whatever, then I knock it out after rock after the rocks chip. It could also be a roll depending on his investment. But even still, we have our citrus berry and uh, kudchu, so we get two citrus berries. 
Yeah, I think let's let's try to make Ferrigraph shine here. I feel like this Mon puts in a lot of work now. Terra Normal Trick Room is, I believe, the play. So we're gonna get a big shift in the speed right now. As he will have nothing faster than me. So there is Ferrigaraph. I got Sirens in front of my house too. I think they know what's about to happen. <laughs> Get poisoned immediately, that's fine. I think it's what, 50% chance? Or something like that, Barbarage. And we get a big trick him off now. And so, even a stronger Barbarage is not gonna knock us out. Let's just Hyper Voice here. So yeah, this is a roll to knock it out, depending on his investment. A roll in my favor. Close, very close. So he crunches here. Heal it off, nicely. Take poison damage. So this is looking pretty good. Once we knock this out, I think we'll have, what, two turns of Trick Room left? And he only has uh, two mons left. I am max special attack modest. So things are looking pretty great. So once we knock this out, we have to really be careful of uh, Chinchino because if it Terra Ghosts, I'm probably going to have to go for Psychic Noise versus that Pokemon. But versus the Ogre Pond, I can just Hyper Voice regularly. Yep, Overcool gone. Very cool. And now we get another Citrus Berry too. Look at that. I think it's the first time I'm using Kudchu. I like it. It's very nice. So now it's either going to be Ogre Pond or Chinchino. I would assume it's going to be... Well, if it's Chinchino, he has to... I think it dies to a Psychic Noise from the range it's out. I'm not sure, though. It's going to be uh, Ogre Pond. Okay. Takes rocks. Let's see how much damage we can do here. With a uh, Hyper Voice. And so the good thing is that it's not going to be able to set up or do anything dangerous. It can only attack because I still have another extra turn of Trick Room behind. Hopefully it knocks it out right now so I can just clean up here. But I have enough turns of Trick Room anyways. He is thinking about this turn quite a bit though. I definitely want to draft Ogre Pond at some point and try it out. I think Ogre Ponds are cool. Maybe not this one. I would probably, I would probably want to try the water one, Wellspring or, uh, or the rock one seems fun too. Oh, barely! What is this roll? <laughs> Power up miss. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. But I don't think, uh, I don't think he could have stopped me from this point. Still had one turn in Trick Room, so I'd just go like Annihilate or something and destroy everything else. Uh, but yeah, here I can just attack. I don't know why he didn't go for the uh, Ivy Cudgel. Would have been uh, probably strong enough to take me out anyways, instead of having to go for an inaccurate Power Whip. Cool, so Trick Room's over now. And so now he goes into uh, his last Monchinchino which has to lock itself into one move only, and if it's Tail Slap, we win with Annihilate. If it's... If it's actually Terra Ground Terra Blast, then... 
I don't even think that knocks me out here. Yeah, it has to be Tail Slap that he has to go for. I think that's the only thing that can knock me out. It's gonna be Terra... Ghost. Okay, cool. Yeah, I figured as much. So, yeah, I couldn't go for Hyper Voice there anyways, in case it was Terra Ghost. Psychic Noise should make quick work of it though, unless he Tail Slaps, which he does. And that is, I think, enough to take me out. Unless he gets only two hits. Oh, well, never, never mind. Skill Link, so he'll get, like, maximum. Yeah, that knocks me out. Okay, and then... We win. Yeah, we win this game. Last game of the season. Of the regular season, that is. Annihilate. Finish it up. Little Rage Fist to pick this thing off. Already 100 power. Yeah, exactly. It was good information that we got from the very beginning that we knew that this thing was Choice Scarf right from the get-go. Just because it outran our Raging Bolt. And yeah, that's going to be GG, it's Envy. We finished the season 5-3. And are guaranteed for playoffs. I think my record with uh, the Torical Sun draft a couple drafts ago was also 5-3, so... Yeah, decent record, but it's enough to uh, get us at least one more upload with the team. This game was a solid one. You know, we got a little fortune with the T-Wave. Power up miss as well, which I guess could have made the score closer potentially. Though, you know, I've been a bit unfortunate this season, so I'll take I'll take what I can get. I was in a pretty commanding position, though, with uh, with Mew and Furgraph putting in the absolute finest of work. Which you, you know, you love to see. You absolutely love to see it. I'm not sure who we face next at the time of recording. There are some important games that still need to be played, which decides who else is in playoffs. But yeah, regardless of what happens next, whether we win or lose, I hope you all enjoyed the season. And I'll share my overall thoughts after playoffs for like the draft and stuff like that. Check out my opponent, Leo. And yeah, make sure to subscribe to myself if you have not already done so, so you don't miss out on any of the Heat content. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.